Mom sets up camera, catches repairman in the act. She couldn't believe what she was watching, he was supposed to be a repairman, but the secret recording clearly showed that he wasn't. Martina could only watch what he was doing in her attic in horror. But this was no horror movie, it was her life. She watched the footage, the repairman got up and climbed down the attic ladder. She didn't know what he was doing or where he was going. But she stood frozen in place when she finally figured out what he had been up to. Martina McDonald moved to a town right outside Pennsylvania to give her three children a better life away from her estranged husband. The new town only had 2,003 residents, she was keen to start a new life with other three children. She would do anything for them, but she couldn't have prepared for what was coming her way. Because the town was so small it felt more like a community than anything else. They welcomed the family with open arms and Martina knew she had made the right choice. So when her new house needed maintenance she hired a local repairman thinking it would go off without a hitch. But she'd soon find out something about one of her neighbors. Martina bought a house with a lot of potential for a family, but it still needed some work. She got many recommendations for one repairman in the town, they said he was hardworking, honest, and reliable. What more could she want? His name was Matthew Smith and he came highly recommended by pretty much everyone. She smiled and thanked the stars she found someone so good. At least that's what she thought. Once Matthew arrived she took him straight to the source of the problem. After assessing the situation Matthew came back the next day with a pearly smile and a toolbox, ready to start the job at hand. Martina felt that he was what everyone had said, and so she introduced him to her children before they went back to their rooms. Matthew seemed like a man of determination who would always finish a job. But Martina could never have expected what he would do in her house. After Matthew had spent half an hour in her attic Martina had to step out to collect a package from her friend. This task would take just under an hour. She left her son Jaden who was 10 years old. But she would learn that it would have been wiser to take him with than leave him with a stranger. Now with the parcel in hand, Martina was heading home. Everything seemed fine when they got there, Matthew was still in the attic and Jaden was in his room. But as she started her kids' laundry she felt a terrible feeling hit her, like her stomach had twisted in a knot, what was wrong? She was examining her drawers, it seemed as if they weren't exactly as they had been when she left, but she chalked it up as her kids meddling. Her kids could have just been looking for something, they were mischievous little kids but she loved them. But once she realized she was wrong it was too late. Matthew came the following to continue his work in her attic. The entire job would cost $7,000, which would burn a major hole in her wallet. But she wasn't concerned about money at that moment, she was more concerned about her son. Jaden had been acting weirdly, did something happen? In the space of 24 hours, Jaden had completely changed. He used to be bubbly and outgoing, but now he was quiet and reserved. And to make things even more strange, every time Jaden saw Matthew the repair, he ran to his room, as if Matthew was the boogeyman. What was Jaden hiding? When Martina finally realized what was wrong she was left feeling sick to her stomach. Martina knew she had put the truth. Using an old nanny cam, she positioned it in the attic to see what Matthew was up to. It was a foolproof plan. Martina would get to see what Matthew was up to. But when she looked at the secretly recorded footage later that night, she couldn't believe her eyes. Martina set up the nanny can where Matthew was working in the attic. She didn't want to have to resort to this but something weird was going on. Martina could feel it. She pressed record and headed back downstairs. And so, Matthew arrived at Martina's home and soon got to work. Martina watched him walk up into the attic, knowing in a couple of hours she'd get the truth. But she wasn't prepared for it. Martina knew she had to leave the house in order to get the most genuine and real footage possible. She decided to head to the supermarket with her two kids while leaving Jaden again with Matthew. After leaving Matthew alone in the house with her Jaden, Martina felt uneasy the entire car journey to the supermarket. Little did Martina know she had just made a big mistake. Forty minutes later and Martina arrived back from the supermarket. As soon as she set foot into her house, she heard silence, followed by the sound of childlike giggles. It was coming from her son Jaden, but he wasn't in his room. Then Martina realized, Jaden was in the attic, where Matthew was, working. As quick as a flash she ran into the attic and saw Jaden was sat in front of Matthew, who was messing inside the walls. Both Jaden and Matthew turned around to see a startled Martina and smiled. Martina sighed in relief. 
She told her son to come down for dinner and she left Matthew upstairs, still being secretly recorded. When Martina watched the footage later that day and saw what Matthew had been up to in the attic, she was lost for words. Matthew finished working in the attic and came downstairs to tell Martina he'd be returning on Monday to finish it up. After rounding up his tools, he smiled at Jaden before leaving through the door. As soon as he shut the door Martina raced upstairs to retrieve the nanny cam and watch the footage. She wasn't prepared for what she would find. Martina uploaded the footage onto her computer and clicked play. At first, she could see Matthew walking around the attic, inspecting the walls. Then, what the repairman did next, left Martina lost for words. Matthew the repairman, just merely opened a vent and then sat down. He got out his phone and started laughing at YouTube videos. Is this what he had been doing the entire time he was here? Martina thought he should be working. Had she just been ripped off? She thought things couldn't get any worse, but then all of a sudden Matthew got up and headed downstairs. Where was he going? Martina didn't install cameras all around the house, so she had no idea where Matthew was, or what he was up to. He shouldn't be in other parts of the house though, the attic was where he was working. Hundreds of questions raced around her mind as she sat, soaked in confusion and fear wondering what exactly the repairman was up to. But then Martina realized something, her son Jaden's room was right at the bottom of the stairs. For about 15 minutes the footage showed an empty attic while Matthew was somewhere else in the house. Then, all of a sudden Martina saw Matthew walk back up the stairs. And what he was holding left her lost for words. You see, Matthew was holding some of Martina's clothes. These included her underwear and other items. Martina felt sick to her stomach. This would explain why she thought things were going missing. She was speechless. Not only was this so-called repairman ripping her off, $7,000 to be exact, but he was also creepy and completely gross. So what was Martina going to do about it? Feeling both angry and sick to her stomach, Martina knew she had to let others in the town know about Matthew and his sickening habits. She swiftly told her neighbor about the incident and showed her the footage. As expected, within a few days Matthew was the talk of the town. Many people were shouting at him in the streets, telling him he was gross and needed to leave the town. But would he? A few months after the incident, Matthew finally granted the townspeople their wishes and he left the town. The entire town was relieved. After all, who would want somebody like him, living next door? For Martina, she finally managed to get an actual professional repairman to come in and fix her house, a handyman who wouldn't rifle through her drawers or scam her of $7,000.